Now, again, we don't want Bitcoin to be a political tool. It seems like now we have Republicans on board. There is our libertarian candidate, who is Robert F. Kennedy, who was definitely on board with Bitcoin. And with Biden dropping out of the race and him being replaced by Kamala Harris, it seems like the angle they're trying to spin with Kamala Harris is that she is some new, young, hip candidate. And that makes me think that she would be pro Bitcoin. Now we still have to wait to see how this is gonna play out, but there is hope that this isn't going to be a political issue. And to not make it a political issue, it seems like the CEO and the people running the Bitcoin conference 2024 did extend a invite out to Kamala Harris to see if she wanted to speak at this conference because we have Donald Trump, obviously Republican. We have RFK, who is our libertarian person. I don't know if he's still running anymore, to be honest. I think he might've dropped out and supported Donald Trump at this point, but I could be wrong on that one. But anyway, then if Kamala came, we would have our Democratic Party leader right there and it, everything would seem like it's not a political issue. So they did extend an invite to her and I'm gonna show that to you now. So I do have an article here from Decrypt. I just want to show you that David Bailey is the organizer of Bitcoin Magazine. And what he had done is he sent out this tweet here that said, we're in talks with Kamala Harris campaign for her to speak at the conference. Would be very savvy of her to reset the Democrat position on the fastest growing voter block in the country, they're making up their minds today. And it seemed very favorable that she was going to come. Why would she not want to change her party dynamics and come out here? It's an easy win for her, right? Granted, Donald Trump is gonna be there and there could be some conflict and you know how like those speeches go back and forth. So maybe she doesn't wanna deal with that or maybe she doesn't wanna change her idea on crypto. But there was a follow up tweet by David Bailey and he says, Kamala Harris will not be speaking at the Bitcoin conference, no surprise. What can she say to us when she's actively imprisoning developers, forcing our industry overseas, attacking proof of work? It would have been a disaster for her. All eyes are on Trump, who again is the keynote speaker of this event. So obviously this guy's a little bit upset when it comes to her not accepting the invitation to come to the conference, but I'm gonna hold back a little bit and think that maybe she's still kind of deciding on her policies and what she's gonna go forward with. I'm not gonna bash her right now and say, oh, she's anti-crypto, but we will see as the uh, campaign trail keeps going on, what her policies are gonna be and, and how she's developing her ideas towards cryptocurrencies. And again, I say that because I don't want Bitcoin to be a political issue. I want it to be a utility that people use. It should just be like money. Obviously a better version of money, but it should just be like money. And as we still think about Kamala Harris, I do have another Decrypt article that says where Kamala Harris potential VP picks stand on Bitcoin and crypto. And this is gonna give you a little brief Summary of what their opinion is, it says Kamala Harris' choice of running mate could indicate how she plans to govern if elected and leading contenders for the spot show varying degrees of support or caution towards crypto. Now at this point, she hasn't even hinted at who she's going to pick for her VP, but that will be very important for the policies of crypto. It goes on to say some contenders like Josh Shapiro and Andy Bashar have been actively involved with or supportive of crypto related activities at a state level, while others like Roy Cooper have taken a more cautious approach. The crypto stances of other leading choices like Gretchen Whitmer and Mark Kelly are less clear, but they have political allies who support pro crypto, leg pro -crypto legislation or have otherwise indicated potential openness to the industry. So obviously the ideas of her VP are going to be very important on how she decides to feel about crypto. But at the end of the day, this is run by the Democratic Party. They probably already have their ideas about crypto. And if history is gonna repeat itself, it shows that their ideas on crypto, when it comes to people like Elizabeth Warren, they're not very good. But again, I'm still optimistic that there could be a change in the future. So Kamala, if you want people to like you, go ahead and pick a pro crypto VP and maybe you'll get more votes.